This video covers the idea or concept of displacement. Displacement describes the distance an object travels in a particular direction. What is most confusing about the idea of displacement is its simplicity. Displacement literally is just the difference between the final and initial position of an object. It does not matter how an object traveled to get from point A to point B. All that matters is where point A and point B are located. The equation for displacement looks like this, where this triangle symbol is the Greek letter delta, and delta always means change in. Whether you're in a math class or throughout physics, delta always means change in. And change in means the final minus initial. It is also important to note that this arrow symbol above the displacement variable means that displacement is a vector, which means direction matters. The unit for displacement is typically a meter. Sometimes it can be a smaller unit like a millimeter or a larger unit like a kilometer. We abbreviate the unit meter with a lowercase m. Let's do an example. Veronica starts at the point x equals 2 meters, moves to the point x equals negative 1 meter, and then moves to the point x equals 8 meters. What is her displacement? So first, let's draw a coordinate system just so we can visually see these movements. This number line will go from negative 1 to 8. Veronica starts at the point 2. She then begins to move to the left to point negative 1. She then moves to the right to point 8. Now let's look at our displacement equation. It is important to note that when calculating the displacement, we only care about the final and initial positions. Veronica ended at the point 8 meters and began at the point 2 meters. We do not care that she traveled all the way to the point negative 1 meter. We only care about the final and initial positions. So let's plug in her final and initial positions. And once we do this calculation, we find that her displacement was 6 meters. This means that Veronica traveled 6 meters in the positive direction since our displacement was a positive value. Now let's look at what happens when an object undergoes a displacement in two dimensions. So here we have a two-dimensional coordinate system. Let's assume that we start at the point 4, negative 4, comma 3, and we travel to the point 2, comma 1. We want to calculate the displacement we just underwent. In order to do this, we have to break up our movement into its x and y components. So we have our displacement equation for the displacement in the x direction looks like this. And the displacement equation for the y direction looks like this. So we just simply broke up our two e displacement equations into the x and y directions. First, let's calculate the displacement in the x direction. Our final position, x position was 2, and our initial x position was negative 4. So 2 minus negative 4, we get a displacement of 6 meters. This means that we traveled 6 meters in the positive direction. Now let's calculate the displacement in the y direction using our equation. We know that the final y position was 1, and the initial y position was 3. And if we subtract these values, we get that our displacement in the y direction was negative 2 meters. This negative sign is important because this tells us that we traveled 2 meters in the negative direction, which means down for the y coordinates.